Oh, I bet you're wondering, why is Pockets talking to us again? What's this about? Is he vlogging again? What? Well guys, it is the Edinburgh Fringe Festival 2017. This year marks the 70th anniversary of the Edinburgh Fringe Festival and actually it's my 11th year this year doing the Edinburgh Fringe. So I thought I'd do it some justice and vlog about it. I'm gonna take you on the journey. Join me. So what is the Edinburgh Festival Fringe? Well, the Edinburgh Festival Fringe is a fringe on the outskirts of a festival. It's as simple as that. It's all the crazy and weird shit that congregates in one place and performs for you guys. It's wonderful. Uh, this year I'll be taking part of it uh, mostly on the street, busking. And uh, what I'm actually on my way to do now is to put my name in a hat to see if I can get a busking spot today. Wish me luck. Hey guys, 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 what's, what's, what's going on? I don't know. No? Yeah. I People, people are just standing around for no reason. Yeah, I, I don't quite understand. I mean, do you know what's going on? What's going on, guys? <laughs> what's the what's need flyers? <laughs> <laughs> I really need some flyers. So, this is Ian. Say hello, Ian. Hello, Ian. Uh, I'm in a band room called Affordable Chocolate. Anyway, so we've done the draw, okay? And today's like an important day because it's the first day of the Fringe. It involves us actually taking all of our gear to the mine as well. So what we've done is strategically, we stopped and got breakfast on the way. <laughs> so now we're gonna go up to the studio space and grab our gear and uh, cry. Cry all the way to the Royal Mile because it weighs far too much. We did it guys, we did it. Look what we did, we did it, we did it. And it's day one, so these guys need to die in a fire. So we're here, we've made it, we've made it to the mile with all the stuff and uh, so basically today we're just gonna, we're doing the same thing we're gonna do every day for the next month and that is we are waiting on the waiting list to get an extra show. We do have some pre-booked shows that we got this morning from the draw but uh, we're gonna hang around and hopefully get another one, possibly two, you never know. There's always hope, there's always hope. So yeah, this, this is it, this is, this is the office. Uh, I've, I've erected the structure in the name of all buskers who want to remain dry. Um, and it'll be here for as long as we don't need it. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Guys, yeah. it's raining. 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 So, Ian, uh, darling, honey bunny. What does a busker do to pass the time? Stand. Stand around. It's waiting. Waiting. Waiting on shows. It's still raining. We're still waiting. We're still waiting. We're still waiting. We're still. Oh. Uh, I've had to cancel my first show of the fringe because of the weather. <laughs> So we managed to get two shows in so far. The weather cleared up and now we're here with John. Hey John. And our, our giant violin player has showed up. He hates that joke so much. Oh yeah. well. Yeah, I've cool. had that joke one now. I've had to bet you wish it was a harmonica yeah. from some buster. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we're gonna do, I'm gonna do an hour up there. So yeah. All right, let's do it. Cool. And uh, yeah, so that's us finished busking on the street today, but my day is not over. There is more to today than just busking. Uh, so what happened was is the, uh, the weather cleared up, as you can tell, it's wonderful and dry now. The weather cleared up and uh, I managed to get some shows in. I got four shows in in total, which was lovely. Uh, but now I'm going to head up here, grab my gear, store it, get some food, and then some other stuff's going to happen. But I realised I did an awful lot of telling and an awful lot of showing. So I shall do more showing in the future, I promise. It is my promise to you, the viewer. Hello you, so we've reached that time in the evening. It is now 12 o'clock in the evening, uh, at night really, and I'm off to the captain's bar to play a gig with John until 2am. So yeah, uh, I had a bit of a nap to see me through this, but now uh, let's, let's go have fun in the bar. Yeah. Well, I saved up my money and I bought me some beans. beans. Started making honey way up in the trees. When I cut that tree down, my honey's all gone. Oh, oh fruit foods, baby, fell down. Yeah, he's been around the mill. Brought across the road, put it 90 miles an hour. Take it, 30 feet to jump. He ain't never been caught. He ain't never been treated. So, oh, hey, it's a lot like me. Yeah. So we 
managed to make it to the end of the night. Uh, Holy Jesus, 2.30 in the morning. Oh, 2.30 a.m. Right. Day one. Day one. Day one. Day one. Day one. Day one. And we got, another, we got another late one tomorrow. Yes, but... we do. We do the same thing tomorrow. <laughs> so it's 3 a.m. and I'm carrying my stuff back to my uh, storage. And uh, then I'm going to go jump on a bus and go home. 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm still going. I'm probably not going to be done until about like 3.30, 4 o'clock. Then I gotta get up tomorrow and do it all again. Okay. Holy shit! Here we go! Hello there, internet. Yes, so today something crazy is gonna happen. I'm gonna cut my hair. I'm gonna get my hair cut by a wonderful uh, hairstylist that's uh, Snip and Sip in Summerhall. Uh, but my friend Magda, who I've not seen in a very, very long time. So I'm here with my, my stylist. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That's Whoa. so big! That's crazy! Um, this is Magda at uh, Snip and Sip. Hello! Hello, um, and she's been cutting my hair for years, uh, although not recently, as you can tell. For many years, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, this is a before, and I'll show you guys after. Magda came up with an idea. What's your idea, Magda? There will be hair donation, and is it long enough? we'll get a lovely ponytail. Wow, that's so cool! I didn't know I could do that. Yeah, yeah. we're going to my style now. Okay. <laughs> you guys ready? You ready to see it? Here we go. What? Ta da! <laughs> cool. That's, that, that used to be me. That used to be attached. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much, Magda. Thank you, Puckett. It was Yay. a pleasure. <laughs> Do you think I got enough of the facial hair? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I look so young now as well. It totally takes years off. Like, whenever I get a haircut, I feel younger. I oh, I don't younger. know. I don't know. I think you look more sophisticated. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you obviously don't know me that well, then, do you? <laughs> more sophisticated with, with a haircut than not. Right. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, that Yay! Make you look more serious. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Magda. Well, say hello to the new me. The new short haired, floppy fringed me. God, I feel so strange. I feel so strange right now. This is very strange, having short hair for the first time in almost five years. But the next point, the next thing we're gonna to do today is we're actually we're gonna to head to the Royal Mile. We're gonna meet up with all the buskers in the Royal Mile and we're gonna hopefully get some busking done today. What a, what, what, what's wrong? What's wrong, Nico? What, what's wrong? <laughs> what have you, you've got a different jacket. <laughs> no, it looks good, man. You look real, real good. Yeah. Cool, good chapter break. Yeah. <laughs> what? 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 I lied, it's a video! <laughs> we just did our first show of the day and it, it didn't rain. Now it's raining though. It's raining in the beautiful, beautiful sunshine. How does that even work? Uh, so yeah, uh, we had to, we didn't do very well in that last show because Ian, Ian. Yeah. Broke all of the strings. Yeah. Honestly. Amateur. <laughs> Today our street shows are finished for today. We played on this stage at the very end. This is called the Market Stage at the Market Cross, which is just up there. Tonight we are, well I say we, uh, me and John and I and Martin Beer as PB and J. We are going to be performing at the Pear Tree tonight as part of like a little session. We're going to give it a little shot and see how it goes. Uh, so you're going to join me on that as well. So I got a few hours to kill before that. So I'm going to go get some food because I'm hungry. I've made friends with a local bar. Uh, the, one of the downsides about being a street performer is the fact that you have a, a lot of change all the time, a lot of, a lot of small coins. And uh, uh, so I made friends with a local bar um, with the hope that I can actually change my coins into notes here uh, most of the time. So that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm at a bar, I'm changing my coins. What the actual fuck? Stag do a fringe show. Oh! <laughs> Why? Why, guys? Why? Cool, nice one. <laughs> what the 
the actual fuck was that? <laughs> Only in the fringe. Only in the fringe. So yeah, I've made friends with the bar with hopes I can change my change. And they've said yes. So I've decided because it's been such a good day, I've stopped at one of my favourite places to eat in the whole of Edinburgh, and that is Illegal Jacks. And this is going to go in my belly. Which we not. Waiting around. I can't nap today because I'm really awake. I'd like to nap, but I can't. So, I'm just waiting around until half past 11 to do this show tonight. But then that's my last evening show until next Friday. So I'm happy about that. It means I'm actually going to get some decent night's sleeps from, from now on. Um, what I will say uh, so far about the vlogs is I'm a little annoyed at the fact that I haven't been filming any sets, really. I mean, I've, I only filmed a little bit of John stuff last night, but... Oh man, I need to I need to figure out a way to film a couple of sets so I can like use them in the vlog because uh <laughs> like I feel really bad you guys aren't actually getting to see any of the stuff that I'm doing. <laughs> So we just finished the first half of our first set. Uh, non alcoholic having a non alcoholic beer. Uh, I'm I'm currently sweating, sweating crazily. Can we talk about the hairstyle? Can we talk about the new hair? Come on, come on, everybody, look at Pocket's hair. Show me your hair. Fucking great, great. Day two, one more set to go, and we're uh, and then we can go to bed. That's exciting. This is the last late, the last late night until next week. I'm excited about that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, cool. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get any footage of tonight's show because it is fucking impossible to film in there without someone trying to steal your phone. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. It's not like captains or anything like that. I'm discovering the hard way that trying to vlog in the evening for the evening gigs is actually quite difficult. Mainly because when I'm going to the gig, I'm loaded up with gear. My both my hands are filled, and my back has got a massive backpack on, uh, and that's a big problem. Maybe I can't hold the camera and then talk to you guys. I don't know, I'm gonna have to rethink how I structure these. All I know is I've, I've not got any more late nights now until Friday. Hopefully, I'll get a little bit better at it by then. Uh, but I'm gonna head home. I'm just leaving the building now. I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna go to bed. Here we go! Okay, so I forgot to vlog this morning because I was so tired. But it's the mile over here and I'm gonna do some stuff. So I'll tell you about it more when I've woken up properly. So here we are in the middle of the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. There's performers over there. There's performers everywhere. I'm surrounded by performers. Ah, I am way too tired for this. So yes, today is day three of the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Uh, today, affordable chocolate are taking the day off. I had a nice long lie because uh, I had a gig last night. And so uh, today I'm coming out rather late. I put myself on the waiting list to hopefully get a cancelled spot which is highly unlikely, but hey, we all live in hope. And hey, you never know, today might be the first day that Eucalypse gets a show, because the weather's actually not bad. Although I've heard it's supposed to rain later, so. Oh God! So, uh, guess what guys? Guess what? Here you. It's raining. It's, it's, it's raining. It's, it's, what, what the, what? <laughs> Someone's a little too cheery today. <laughs> so it's raining again, which means it's going to be highly unlikely I'm going to get a show today. But hey, I'm having fun. We believe in you. I'm having fun though. I'm having fun being wet. I'm wet. Sam, what's the plan here? What's, what, what, what's the plan? Uh, we're going to try and pull off a show using a chopstick and a test tube. But I'm not going to actually going to be doing the show. The show is going to try and erase it. There. Cool. I don't know because I can't do voices very well. So it's just Have fun. <laughs> and the show Ladies and there. gentlemen, the show is about to begin. This is me, I am Chopstick, and this is my assistant, Test Tube. For my first trick, I will be doing the ancient mind walking behind the wall. Thank you, that was walking behind the wall. For my next trick, I will be doing the famous piece of mind walking against the wind. Thank you. That was walking against the wind. Uh, this is my assistant test tube. Have I done my test tube joke yet? No? It's experimental. Ladies and gentlemen, you people will watch anything. 
This is amazing. That man in the red shirt has been watching a chopstick for the past five minutes. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching the show. Uh, this is my hat. Give me your money. <laughs> I can't believe people actually stop to watch. <laughs> I'm beginning to realize that this entire video blog is going to be mostly it's raining, it's raining, it's raining. Look, it's raining. Because I missed the draw this morning, it's uh. It's a little bit difficult to uh, to get a spot, so I've been on the waiting list all day trying to get a spot uh, to do a show, and I'm, I've been sitting around for hours. It's stopped raining. It's not raining anymore, which is nice. But tonight I have no gig, so I thought I really should come out and work during the day, which I have. Um, yeah, so I'm here to do some work. Hopefully, it'll go well. It's six o'clock and I still haven't had a show yet. I've been sitting about doing pretty much nothing all day. Hopefully later though someone will cancel. You never know, it might come right at the very end of the day. If it's at the end of the day, that's probably a good thing because it means there'll be less people around to watch me fail in my first show. So good news, I got a show in. Uh, bad news, it was rough. It was super rough. Uh, so I'm glad I got a really rough set out of the way on a rainy day which nobody saw. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll get a scheduled spot at uh, the draw and uh, maybe my sound and everything will be slightly better. Today I've got nothing planned, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the studio, I'm going to drop my gear off, maybe chill out for a little while and then I'm going to go home. And that's going to be my day. Tomorrow hopefully I'll be able to get myself a scheduled spot, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I just had a burrito with my, one of my friends who just happens to be a steward this year at the Edinburgh Fringe. A guy called James, uh, who goes, his stage name is Mephistopheles. And I shall show you some of his material and some of his stuff uh, later on. Uh, yes, but yeah, short day today. Because all I'm going to do now is veg, and I don't think you really want to see that. So, see you guys tomorrow. <gasps> here we go! So here we are, I finally made it to the morning draw, finally at last. Yes, YouTuber, I'm afraid. Uh, this is where all the crazy people come to queue up for a show. Hey, hello. You crazy person, tell us who you are. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm his, uh, I look after him. You look after him? When, yeah, he's in charge of everything, I look I after him. I don't know him. what I'm doing! Uh, this is the one that comes with Will Key's the <laughs> He's a magician. Uh, yeah, we're just, sort of, we're just rigging the, uh, I mean, we're not rigging the draw, we're just having a conversation oh, okay. about yeah. the draw. Okay. So yeah, we all come here for the draw in the morning to get our shows for the day. Uh, hello. <laughs> um, and obviously I can't make a video here without being interrupted. But they're all amazing people and I love them all a bit. So, and it becomes a bigger and bigger family every year. And this year, it seems to be even bigger than last year, so... Proclaimers, why?! Have you ever walked 500 miles? Have you ever been advised to walk 500 more? Call the Proclaimers now! Day 4 of the Edinburgh Fringe! Day 4! Day four! Day four! <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's not raining, which is lovely. We have beautiful, beautiful sunshine on the Royal Mile. And uh, yes, we're gonna do some shows. Just at a show, we had a nice big crowd, yes, so but we made no money. So, yeah. <laughs> Wait, we sold like. 20. But we had a lot. We had. We didn't sell 20 CDs. No, it was 
said two. I think it's 22 CDs. <laughs> 22 as well. So like, uh, yeah, that was a good set. Um, I think we got our mojo back finally. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just getting ready to, to continue doing that same set over and over again until the end of the fringe. We're, th we're three days, four days in, and we've already got our set covered, which is great. We now know exactly what we're gonna play here on the Royal Mile. <laughs> up our spot on the market stage and um, I uh, ran as fast as I could to Captain's Bar where John and I was having a session and he'd asked me to be there and I was running really really late but I got there in the end I got managed to get an hour and a half with him playing so John had a friend who's come over from San Francisco and their act was called Dirty Cello and they sat in uh, and played a few numbers and uh, here's a little snippet of some of the numbers that they played <laughs> Unbelievably amazing act, you should totally check them out. There's going to be a link in the description down below. Next up uh, is the rest of the night off. It's now 10 o'clock. I'm going to hop on a bus in about 15 minutes uh, and I'm going to go all the way home and have, an, have some sleep. And tomorrow's going to be slightly different because Ian isn't going to be there, which means I'm not going to be playing drums tomorrow, but in fact, I'm going to be playing some guitar. So yeah, wish me luck. I'll see you guys later on, if not tomorrow. Bye. Here we go. I've just woken up and I have the most wrecked voice I have ever had in my life. This is insane. I'm like a Scottish Barry White. Uh... I may have slept in. Uh, I'm probably going to miss the bus. Oh God. If I miss the bus, it means I miss the draw, which means I don't get any work today. Which means, why did I bother getting up this morning? Well, if I miss the bus, I'm gonna have to get a taxi. Which I can't afford. But, hey, oh god, oh god. Run, legs, run, you sore, sore, sore legs. Run as fast as you can. So I made it on the bus to the mile for the draw, and I'm beginning to think I should have taken today off. Because I hurt all over. I am so sore. Like, the brain is awake and the body is not awake. The body is asleep. Carrie, help. Carrie. Help. Help. Send help to the Royal Mile immediately. Please. Uh, uh. Oh, we know we're just another freaking boat. I need an adult! <laughs> Hello. Oh, I was uh, in it. Where, where, <laughs> where, where, where are we going, guys? City cab. We're going to city. Do you, you, you say that any louder? City cab. City cafe. City, city cafe. Breakfast. Breakfast. All the food in in here. I've oh. seen so many silly faces. I'm so scared. Are we are we doing live? This live. No, this is a vlog there. I'm excited for the Hello. vlog. You're excited for the vlog? We're coming out every week. Oh no! It's a stick man! It's a stick man! Oh, 
Fancy giving us a lift? <laughs> I'm only going there. Alright, oh, okay. We did genuinely leave. Oh, oh my god, god, yeah! Come here, come here, come here! Stop the world, I don't want to get off. Okay, get off. Spider-Man, uh, where have you been? Why are you in Edinburgh? What's going on? Uh, basically, I heard this city needs saving because a bunch of dirty, disgusting artists have been uh, colonizing the town and coming in and, you know, just destroying it for a month. So I'm here to protect the city from dirty street performers, dirty fringe artists, stand-up comedians. Well, like these guys. scum of society. Like, like, like these two here. I, I did. I went Look at all the food. Look at all the food. I think I'm going to go for Okay. Carrie's getting a massage right now, and apparently she pulls the most amazing faces while well, massaged. <laughs> <laughs> that was just the camera. So, uh, yeah, we didn't do that. We did that last show, and it went kind of weird. So now we're, we're failed on that show, and I'm going to do my own solo look show. I've taken my name off the list um, because I am just exhausted, and every single part of me hurts. So, yes, only one show today, I think. Yeah! One last time. One more tune! Yeah! Fantastic. Okay, my name is Pockets. You can find me in all the places listed on my sign there. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, uh, other places like Bandcamp and Patreon as well, if you feel like tipping me on Patreon. Also, if you want to tip me right now, feel free to chuck in some money into my case. I do also have CDs available for a fiver. You can take me home for a fiver. Uh, so... I'm cheap. Uh, okay, this next song is uh, another dubby number, and it's called Never Wanna Go. Oh, did you ever wanna go? Did you ever wanna go? So every day at the end of every day we put our stuff in storage, uh, this is the fringe storage container here and it's always an absolute mess but uh, it's an organized mess so it's uh, yeah it's interesting but no I'm really sore and I'm gonna go home and sleep and rest because I think I need to get some Oh, got the hiccups. I need to get some rest. Uh, so that's the end of the day. I'm just, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna go home. Uh, I'm just gonna go. What? What? Pockets go. Go. Pockets leave. Go. Go. No. Go. Pockets go. Pockets. Here we go. So here we are, here we are, it's day six of the fringe so far, and uh, my friend here, James. Jeez, what a smile, and it seems to me, reminds me of childhood, of memory, everything was as fresh as a bright blue sky. So this is what we as performers get up to when we're bored. Ali is going to start with her mouth open and we're going to smell water in it from over here. I'm going to come away from your fiddles actually. Thank you, there we go. You got, you got us both in shots. Yeah. Well, that's a brilliant start to that video. So I haven't, I haven't really vlogged today um, because I've been so bloody tired. Uh, so we're sitting in Pie Maker. We just eat some pies. Here's an alley. I'm exhausted, and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna sleep. And, um... Invincible.
Good morning. It's Thursday. And you know what I forgot to do yesterday? Talk to you guys. Yesterday was uh, an interesting day. I was exhausted and I couldn't really get my head into the whole vlogging thing. So hopefully today I can remedy that. Yeah. Uh, so this is what it's like being a musician at 10 o'clock in the morning waiting for your spots for the day. Uh, Ian is ODing on coffee. Uh, I am trying not to move from this one spot. I've been here for 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, I think uh, it's a hard life. It's a hard life. It's a hard life. Look at that guy in the back there, Jordy, man. Jordy looks so bored. He's just throwing a brawly around. Look at him. He's just, he's just, look at him. He looks really bored. Look how bored. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Here I am in the Edinburgh Fringe Festival and I am joined by a very good and very fantastic friend of mine. <laughs> and it's this guy with a beard, his name's Jimmy. Jimmy. And uh, also we're joined by the wonderful Elaine Davidson, the most, most pierced lady in the world, according to Guinness Book of World Records. And here she is, Elaine Davidson. What? Hello, brother. This is my, my fringe sister. <laughs> this is my brother from another father. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, she's always looked after us in the miles. Uh, yeah, you've got a show, don't you? I love him. Yes. Tell, tell us about your show. It's a kinky show. Oh, oh, you don't oh. Really want to know? It's kids' film. This kids. We can't talk about it. But <laughs> no, there's I a can't. link in the description. Can you? Okay. No, it's a kids' film. Okay, cool. There's a link in the description that'll take you to the show. <laughs> Tip of the day. Ian, what is your tip today? Don't eat yellow snow. You heard it here, folks. Don't eat yellow snow on a beautiful summer's day. There's no such thing as a hot dude in summer. It's just called an unexpected solo. Okay, we're gonna add some arms now. Out and round. Out and round. Out. Very good. Okay. Chorus. Slap your thighs. Move to the side. With all these fingers, open out. And do some hops. One, two, three. Oh, good. Now the same thing the other way. With his fingers. Quickly, can I just move over the top? Hop. Very good. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we're, we're been doing shows today. I'm rather exhausted. There's a guy from Germany over there doing a show, and I think we're on after him. And yes, all I'm doing is talking because yesterday I forgot to talk to the camera at all. So this is it. This is, all you, this is what happens when I'm forced to talk to you guys. Every day is the same. Every day is the same. It's like Groundhog Day. Again and again until you go a bit crazy. So uh, this is, we've reached the end of the day. We've done quite a few shows, uh, and we're still trying to figure out uh, all this. So, uh, like for example, why do people give us these kind of this kind of money? Just I mean, what's this? I can't spend it. Nobody can spend this here. Why would you give a Scottish person something like this, other than to be like, hey, hey, I finally got rid of that foreign coin I've never been able to spend. I can't spend it either. Thank you. Oh, not that I'm not grateful for the for the coinage, but seriously, guys, that and coppers. Who goes up to a busker and says, I think you're worth exactly two pence. Or one. Well, actually, I can think of quite a few. <laughs> well, today, how are you guys feeling today? I'm tired. Tired. Pretty tired. Tired. Long day. We're gonna have a long, a long, non-long lie tomorrow. <laughs> We're gonna go to bed at seven o'clock tonight. It's, and um, it's, it's, um, it's yeah. Well, should already be in bed by now. Don't judge me. 
This is Future Pocket stepping in saying I forgot to say uh, thanks for watching and that's the end of the vlog and all that stuff. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you really enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, join us next week when we continue exploring the wonderful world of the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. But until then, stay safe and travel and fun and rock!